Hello, this is a video on how to import Google Calendars into your DP Calendar. We're using DP Calendar 4.0.2 and Joomla 3.3.0. So first thing we need to do is go to the Google Development site and that's council.developers.google.com and you may have to set up, set up an account but that's okay, it's free and then you're going to create a project. Click this button, Create Project. Now I've already done this and I've created a Joomla Access project. It only takes a minute to create. And we want to look at the APIs and authorization first. And we want to make sure that the calendar API is turned on. And again, this only takes a moment. You're going to find it down on the list that's going to be turned off. You want to click Turn On. And then we're going to look at Credentials. So from this page where uh, Credentials is, we're going to create a new client ID. Now I already have one here, but I'm going to go through the steps for you. So web application, and then we're going to type in the website. Now I don't have HTTPS, I only have HTTP, but depending on your site, you may need to put HTTPS. And uh, my site, my test site for today is um, readywaters.com. Now down here is one that says Authorized Redirect URI. We're going to uh, change this in just a moment, but I'm going to show you how it comes up with an error and how you can use that as your um, new input. So let's create that client ID, and it's going to create one down here in just a moment. So there's our new client ID. And again, this address is what we're going to have to change. But for now, let's keep this here. And we'll go to we'll go over to our website and then we'll hit extensions plugin manager. And what I like to do is type in DP in the search box. And now we can see here's the Google choice, Google plugin. What we want to do is import those calendars. So we hit the import button and it has client ID and the client secret. So I'm going to grab those from what we just created on the client ID. Control C, Control V, and then again we're going to do the secret, Control C, and Control V. Now I'm going to hit import, it's going to give me an error. Now we get to this error, and it says the redirect URI and the request, blah, blah, blah. We're going to copy this up to where it says import. So from the HTTP to where it says import. Control C. And now what we want to do is we're going to open up Notepad. And I'm going to paste this in. So now this is the full line of what it is. Now the thing we need to change is where it says and amp. That's not a good character. So we're going to get rid of the amp and the semicolon behind amp. And there's three of them. Okay. Delete those. Now copy this back, control C, and we'll go back to developers and we'll edit the settings. This redirect right here is what we want to paste in and update. Okay, let's go back to our website and the back end back uh, button. Let's try that client ID again. Copy this, control C, paste it here. And then do the same with the client secret, control C, and paste it here. Now we can hit the import button. It says this app would like to have offline access, or it's going to have some different choices here. So go ahead and accept whatever pops up. And now these are the these are the, all the calendars that I have in my Google Calendar setting. Now a lot of these are just for testing purposes, and I'm going to get rid of some of them right now. Um, we could just uncheck them, but it's probably better for me to just delete them out. So I could come through and delete these off my list, but right now for time's sake I'm not going to delete them. I'd hit the delete button here. I'm just going to say, okay, those are all good. Let's keep them, but I'm going to unpublish a few. I don't want to publish this one. 
So now I have three, Palo Hau, Turpin Band, and uh, Holidays. Let's save and close. Now I want to add those to my menu. Menus, Main Menu. I already have Calendar in here, but I want to add those calendars to my menu item. Go to my Required Settings, and I'm going to add Band. And notice they're still in my list, even though. That's why I said maybe it's a good idea to delete them. Uh, Palo Ohio, and then uh, Holidays, United States. OK. Let's save and close this. Now let's look at our calendar here and refresh. So I don't like this orange color. Let's go back and change the color. So we go to the plugin again. Google, and we'll find that calendar, Turpin Ban. I'm going to change the color, 990000. Um, just be careful, there's a save button here, but look underneath, there's another save button. Save and close this. Now save and close the plugin. Okay, now we refresh the calendar, and there's our new colors. So that's how to import calendars from Google.